Pastor Ed here with my 5 for 5 daily devotions for Thursday, November the 10th, 2022. Some of you may recall the name Howard Hughes. At one time, he was the, the richest man in the world, a billionaire, many times over. All he ever wanted in life, though, was more. He wanted more money, so he parlayed his inherited wealth into a billion-dollar pile of assets. He wanted more fame, so he broke into... Hollywood soon became a filmmaker. He wanted more pleasure, so he paid handsome sums to indulge every urge. He, he wanted more thrills, so he designed and built and piloted the fastest aircraft in the world. He wanted more power, so he allegedly dealt political favor so skillfully uh, that two U.S. presidents even became his pawns. All he ever wanted was more. He was absolutely convinced that he would uh, that that more would bring him more satisfaction. Unfortunately, uh, history shows otherwise. He um, concluded his life in emaciated shell, uh, rotting teeth, just falling apart, needle marks from his drug addiction. Um, he died, in a sense, a billionaire junkie. Um, in his quest for more, he never was able to quite fulfill what it was that he wanted. Now, most of us are not going to have lives anything remotely like um, uh, Howard Hughes, but I saw a commercial. I guess the, it's, it's not too soon to have the Christmas movies coming out, and apparently there, there's one called A Christmas Story Christmas, uh, which is uh, uh, set 30 years after the events of A Christmas Story, which has become kind of a minor classic, Hollywood classic. Um, that was kind of set in the 40s. This is um, the Peter Billingsley character. Uh, Ralphie is, is all grown up now, so it's like in the 70s, and he returns to his, uh, his hometown in order to um, uh, try to recreate the kind of magical family Christmas that, uh, uh, that his dad used to have. And if you remember from the original movie, it was a series of vignette, vignettes, uh, but more than anything else, Ralphie wanted... Uh, a Red Rider carbine action 200 shot range model air rifle. And, you know, his teacher told him, uh, you know, this was a bad idea. His mother told him it was a bad idea. Everybody's telling me you're going to shoot your eyes out. And uh, on Christmas morning, all the presents, you know, that he gets just, they just don't make it for him until there's one last present and it is that air rifle. And, he goes out and he shoots it and it ricochets and breaks his glasses. And, you know, he was afraid for a moment that he did shoot his eyes out. Um, but his mom kind of cleans him up and uh, he goes to bed that night um, holding that treasured uh, rifle, air rifle, thinking that that was the best present he ever had and ever uh, would have. Um well, what does that have to do with what we've been talking about this week? Well, again, in another way, like Howard Hughes, this uh, fictional Ralphie was looking for happiness. Um, he wanted something more that would bring it to him. And sometimes we kind of get sucked into that as well. We are looking up to fill the holes uh, uh, in our lives. And no matter what we do and no matter what it is that we um, acquire or obtain, it doesn't f fulfill that, that emptiness in our lives. And that's because the things of this life, even good things, um, aren't going to fill that hole. It was St. Augustine I talked about in my sermon. And I've talked about it many times because I love his his, his statement, uh, our souls are restless, O Lord, until they rest in thee. There's this, there's this void, there's this emptiness in each and every human being that is only filled uh, by God. Um, and so uh, the All Saints reading, All Saints Sunday reading from um, the Sermon on the Plain and Luke's version of the, the Beatitudes, talking about blessed are the poor and blessed are the, those who weep and you know, all these kind of negative things. Um, but the point here is that those things do happen in life and the people who do experience them, they understand better than anybody um, that the things of this life are not going to make um, our lives perfect. They're not going to fill the hole or the emptiness uh, in our lives. 
Uh, only our relationship with God can do that. And that's an important reminder as we, um, we live in a very materialistic society. We, we, we want to acquire more things. We're bombarded with ads and commercials all the time about you need this, you know, uh, in order to complete your life. Well, none of those things, even, even good things, are going to complete our life in the way that a relationship with God can and will. Well, that's it for today. We'll be back tomorrow as we continue to discuss uh, the lessons from All Saints Sunday. Until then, take care. Bye.